Granulation is a metalworking technique where precious metals such as gold, copper, etc., are made into small grains to decorate an object. There is a long history of granulation, with the earliest evidence dated to around 2000 BC in Mesopotamia. The technique was introduced to China during the late Warring States period and became widely popular during Han and Tang dynasties as an important decoration technique for goldwares. How did ancient people make these little gold granules? According to studies, there were mainly two methods, one of which is called the shrinking method. The first step of the shrinking method is to cut the gold wires into small pieces like platelets. Then put some burnt charcoal powders in a crucible with a layer of gold platelets on top. Cover the gold with more charcoal powders and repeat the process for several times. Put the crucible in the oven and keep the heat at 1000 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Small pieces of gold wires will then automatically shrink into gold granules in the oven. Take out the crucible to cool it down. Finally, pour out the mixture of charcoal powders and gold granules and sift them through a sieve and water. After sifting, gold granules are separated. The charcoal powders covering the granules are burnt off with a blowtorch and the gold surface is revealed. Why gold wires could become granules after being heated? We could try another experiment with the blowtorch. Cut a small piece off the gold wire. Put it on a wood charcoal platform and heat the piece with a blowtorch. Within a few seconds, the piece shrinks into a granule. The reason behind this is that gold platelets, after being heated to a certain point, are automatically held together into small spheres due to the surface tension. The process gives the impression of gold shrinking into small granules and therefore the technique is called the shrinking method. In ancient China, sometimes a large number of granules were used in gold accessories. As it is very tedious to make individual granules separately, the aforementioned method of heating the crucible to make a batch of granules at a time was invented. <laughs>